Hey guys, if you guys haven't watched my last video, I mean the one before that, they're the same video, so just watch the updated one, and that is the last one that I did. Um, they're titled the same thing, I think. Yeah, they're titled the same thing, but I updated it, so watch the last one, because after I posted the video, I realized I left a piece out. And that was in the description, so the new one says read description, so that's what you're going to look for. And if you guys just don't read it, well, this is what it was. It, basically, I forgot about something about the bedding. If you are going to take my advice on the yesterday's news, I recommend putting at least two inches of bedding into the box for them to pee in. No more than that, because they're not bur burrowers, like, oh my god, I can't say it burrs like hamsters so they just need two inches because their pee like I said is heavy so it's going to go all the way down to the bottom and if you don't want your bottom to stink and smell when you take out that litter I recommend putting two in it just so you can like just so it gets high enough to where it's not going to ruin anything but this video is an update video and I haven't, still haven't cleaned the cage. I'm probably not going to do it until tomorrow. But this is an update since they are now, they're over a year old now. They're usually born around February to March. And I got my guinea pigs, I got this one right here on April 15th. That is when I went and got her. I got her over the weekend. And then I got her two weeks later in May. So I've had her a year now. Last month. So they should be... Well, she's a little bit younger. This one in here is a little bit younger than her. This one's the oldest, even though she's a little bit smaller now. Because guinea pig's just going to be bigger than her. She is a year and... It's June. Uh, let me go silent here. She was two months old when I got her. I don't know how old she is. She's over a year. Both of them are. She's at least two weeks younger than... She's... This one right here is two years older than this one in here. So Gabby, I got her back in April. I think she... She was two months old in April. So, there's 12 months in a year. She's a year and four months, maybe. If that's coming out right, I don't know. Kind of horrible at math, and I don't really know the exact year, the exact month on both of them. They just told me their opinion on them, but I know she's for a fact was two months old when I got her. Because they don't sell them until they're like six weeks old. But anyway, back to the update. This water here, they keep knocking it down and stuff, but there's nothing I can do about it. But I just refilled that, and I usually, by now, have to refill it every two to three days, unlike my every once a week. I know that's bad, but the thing with the vitamin stuff is, the vitamin stuff is not expensive, and do not listen to the people that are going to tell you that you need to refill this bottle every single day. Don't do it. I don't believe in that, because there's not much in that bottle, but it has lasted me over a year and finally, I'm probably going to have to go get some more stuff over the weekend. I know I need more guinea pig feed. They're eating it like crazy. I had to go get hay last week, so I may need hay in another two weeks now. That's how fast that's going. And you've seen how big my bag is. That much. I stopped getting the purple one because that thing was $20, but it lasted longer. But, you know, I don't want to go to Johnson City and go and get some. So I'm just going to do that. That's from That's a Walmart brand as well. This I got at the Pet Sense that is new to our area. We've never had one before, but you know, that just came in a few weeks. No. They came here a few months ago, and that's when I went and got it. So that's how long that's lasted me, because I just quit, I quit using it. But, you know, if you want to use litter, I recommend using litter. I just don't have the litter box to use right now anyway. But that's how big their hay is, and I have to replace that. Every two to three weeks, and now I'm having to replace this, not just because the water, I mean, not just because the vitamins is going bad in it, but because they're drinking the water so much. Now, it wouldn't be bad if, you know, for say, I had one guinea pig, if I just had Gabby right here, or Maddie, it wouldn't be that bad, but I have two, so everything is doubled. 
But, you know, as I always say, I still recommend two guinea pigs because I'm not always home. I would tell you that. Anyone that knows me would tell you that, that I'm always not home. My home is like a little bit, a little bit of a vacation house. You know, you stay here and you're gone for the rest of the day. So I went and got her a companion friend, so that's why she's here. That and I just thought she was pretty and I wanted to bring her home, so I did. See, they're my babies, but you know, they gotta have a friend. They actually do get depression like a person does, so just get two of them. So that means everything is doubled, which means this feed right here, I now have two of those. And I only have one lettuce thing. That's where their lettuce and stuff goes and their salt block, which... Don't even waste your time on getting that. Some people are going to tell you that, but when I first got one, I had no idea what I was doing. Now I do. Don't waste your time on getting them because they don't even use them. They don't bite them at all. If you hear that, that's what they're doing. They're chewing that. And my phone's going off. I'll answer her later. So... These blocks right here, don't even waste your time on getting that. They hardly even chew that. You see that little piece right there? Yeah. They don't chew those. They prefer to eat this. Now, I highly recommend getting this right here. Look how much they eat this. That is from where they've been biting. And that hole is really little. They have ate it to where their body can fit in it now. Let me see if I can't pull that out. Oh, I can. So, that is how much they have chewed this to pieces. They love chewing this. So I highly recommend getting this. Not wasting your time on that salt block up there. Because they don't eat that. And they're not like horses and don't need it. But don't get those either. Don't get that salt block. Get one of these. So they can eat that. Because that is actually food. Yeah, believe it or not. That is actually food. When they were smaller they would jump on top of it. Now they don't really jump on it. Because if you can't tell. They are like obese. They are very fat, but that's what a guinea pig is going to be. I can't stress enough. They're going to be fat, so don't worry about them. They chew their house. That is how they, um, that's how they keep their teeth down. So if you ever see them doing that, that is not bad behavior. Do not, like, punish them for doing that. That is highly stupid. Um, sorry if anybody, if any of you are doing that, I'm here to tell you now, don't do it. That, because if you... I'm trying to word this. If you tell them to stop doing that, they're going to probably quit. I don't know how a guinea pig is. I don't punish mine for it. That is actually a good thing for them to do unless you want a vet bill every few months because they are rodents, see if you haven't noticed. Guinea pigs are rodents. And rodents, their teeth grow 24-7. They always grow. Why mine are so short is because they're constantly eating that. And when they're eating that, that means their teeth are bothering them. Maddie's probably bothers her. Probably her. Hers bothers her probably 24-7 now because she chews and chews and chews. They both do. But that stops me from having to get a vet bill for these guinea pigs. And I only technically, I only have one vet bill from both of them. I took them to go make sure there was nothing wrong with them when I first got them. Because I got sick after I had them and I kept getting sick. And we was wondering if it wasn't because I brought these guinea pigs into my home. I wasn't like this until I got them. Well, that stuff has passed, and it wasn't the guinea pigs. It was actually something else, but, you know, we got rid of it. So, I would highly recommend at least taking them to the vet once to make sure they are checked. You know, the people that actually have them, I have always been told not to go get them at any pet stores because pet stores, they don't know what they're talking about with the guinea pigs. Mine did not know what they were talking about. Oh, they're healthy. Yes, they're healthy. This little black and white one here, they were going to kill her until I took her. She was sick when I got her. She had one swollen eye and I had to medicate her personally because I did not want to take her to the vet for something that I thought I could fix and I did. Unfortunately, I believe they put down the other guinea pig that I was going to take but they flat out would not let me have her but I threw a fit over this one and I won. I got her. So, if they tell you, like, if yours has a swollen eye, don't worry about it. If they freak out, don't worry about it. Tell them you can fix it. Just go get some medicine. Um, I cannot remember what that medicine is. Maybe, you'll probably have to look it up. Because I still have it, but I don't know where it's at. Because that's been over a year ago. But I had to medicate that one back there. Got Maddie, however. Luckily, when we first got her, we thought she was sick. But, you know, luckily she wasn't. She was healthy. She was fine. But we took them to the vet just to make sure because they're going to tell you 
their um I hear the dogs barking. Somebody's here. But they're gonna tell you that they're healthy just to get rid of them and stuff. But I recommend taking them to the vet. Um sexing. I would not listen to your whoever you're buying them from. Listen to the breeder, but you know, sometimes they are confusing. Sometimes you can't tell if they're male or female. I know they're shocking, but with these things, they're kind of hard. But you know, it took me a bit to realize what she was. We constantly thought she was male or female, but we, she's she's female now. So, we got that. We, it took us about maybe an hour to figure that out. There, she's weird looking. But this is basically my update. There's not much of an update other than I am refilling this every once in a while now. You have to give them a little bit more lettuce because they are bigger. Um, they're hay. I refill that thing at most twice a day now. Because look what happens to it. Mine doesn't like to eat it off the ground. I don't know why. They just, they just don't. Alright, so that is pretty much my update. So, as always, remember to like and subscribe and share and give me any recommendations you can if you guys just want a weird video just tell me i'll do it all right bye